Hey, you mathematicians. Welcome to Hot Topics this week. We are going to be talking about area and perimeter. So first, I want to give you a refresher on what area is and what perimeter is. Um, so we're going to talk about these two things, kind of what they mean and <clears throat> how and why we might need to figure them out. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with perimeter, actually. And um, when we're thinking of perimeter, we are thinking the uh, outside edges or the area around a shape or um, an area. So like think of um, like your backyard, okay? You might wanna know how, if you wanted to put a fence around your backyard, how much fence would you need to buy? Would you need to buy and build 100 feet of fence, more or less? So perimeter is useful to find the area around something. Um, maybe you want to see how much if you wanted to um, uh, like paint your uh, like tape the edges of your desk you might need to know how much you're going to need if you want to do it exactly so you need to find out how uh, the like distance around your desk or the shape. So <clears throat> perimeter is the distance around an object or a shape and the reason why you want to do this is you know, like kind of like I said, to find how much of something you might need or the distance around it. Now, the way you find this out is you add up the length of every single side. So you find, uh, for example, a rectangle has four sides. So you're going to add um, this length plus this length plus this length plus this length. So you're going to add all the sides together. So you're going to add those up. So here would be four plus three plus four plus three. So the perimeter would be 14, and we don't know what this is, so we're just gonna say units. <clears throat> so um, so you could uh, add those up, or you could just simply count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can count the squares, but you may not have always, you know, always have squares. Um, or you may have you know, a number of inches or something. So you would need to find perimeter um, by adding up the, all the sides or counting the squares around um, an object. Area, if you're thinking of area, area is the, um, the space inside of the perimeter. So if this is a backyard and this is the fence, the area would be all this in here. Now, <clears throat> area is measured in square units or um, square feet because when we look at this we have a whole bunch of squares here and let's say that this is one unit uh, wide and one unit long well when we have something that's one unit wide and one unit long it is one square inch so if I was finding the, per the area what I would do is I would find the um, number of squares that could fit in there so the number of square units that could fit in there so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I could fit 12 squares in here. So that would be 12 square units. Now, you may have heard of area talking about um, like houses have, they talk about, oh, our house is this many square feet. So one foot across and one foot down. A square that's one foot across has the width of one and length of one. So how you can do that is you can count how many um, squares you have in the object. Like here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the square, the area would be six square units. Or you could multiply the length times the width. So here the length is one, two squares, and the width is one, two, three squares. So three times two is six. So the width area here would be six square units. So you're going to be looking um, at some squares and you're going to be um, finding the area and the perimeter. So when I'm looking here at this shape, um, if I'm finding the perimeter, I simply just count around um, how many squares I have. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the perimeter 
would be 16 units. So all, to go around this, it would be 16 units. So this is one unit. Now, if I was um, finding the area, I would count the number of squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would give me 15 units squared. Okay, so that would give me 15 units squared for the area. I could also, to find the area, have multiplied the length. So our length here is one, two, three. So my length is three, and I could multiply that by the width. One, two, three, four, five. So I could have multiplied three times five, and that will give me 15. U stands for units, and then I'm gonna put a little two up here. That stands for units squared. So one square unit would be like one of these squares. All right. So you're going to be finding area and perimeter. Remember, perimeter is the area around a shape, and the area is the space inside it. All right, so you're going to be finding area and perimeter this week. You guys are awesome.